Hello and welcome to the Deeper podcast. This is the very first of a very exciting uh, new venture uh, for me, Reese Thomas, and a few other guys. So Steve Brins, who sat with me here. Hey there, Reese. And Peter Brins, who you will be introduced to through uh, the YouTube, which is connected to this, but also uh, in a later date on the podcast. Um, the reality of a podcast is uh, that you may be listening all over. So that may be on your way to work or... Yeah, commuting could be on the train right now. Yes, you may be in the kitchen cooking food. This may be playing through your Alexa. Uh, any more, Steve? Yeah, there'll be some people out there who are running right now. He, you're, you're, True. you're jogging and uh, you're picking this up, so that'd be good. Yeah, that's a big one. I am a podcast listener on my runs. Uh, so equally awesome. cycling, or maybe you are a child in school and you probably shouldn't be listening to this, so you may have to ask for your teacher's permission, unless you're in a study room, of course, uh, or just in work. Maybe you're working away in your office uh, or now at home in the coronavirus season. Yeah, make sure you've got this. permission now. Come yes, on. that's true, <laughs> unless you're the boss, and then the permission is yours. Um, so that's the reality of kind of where you may be in regards to listening to this podcast, and just know that this is uh, equipping you and engaging you, and so we are catering all of our content in our podcast series uh, to you. Um, for the context of where this podcast comes from, about 18 months ago, uh, I met with Pete and Sandra Brins uh, just with a desire to go through some books of the Bible with guys who have much more wisdom than I. Uh, and so people like Steve Brins, who sat next to me, and Peter Brins uh, were my go-to people uh, for people who I knew were engaged with the Word of God and who had spent years studying. Uh, and so about 18 months ago then, uh, I began a meeting with Peter Brins, and we just saw that there was a desire uh, amongst people in their 20s and 30s uh, for that to be the case, to come together uh, and to engage book by book in the Bible. And so for about 18 months now, uh, we've been meeting in groups, um, and then coronavirus season hit, and that meant, Steve, that you could come in alongside and begin teaching. Um, so what's that looked like for you in the past few months? Yeah, Jim, that's really interesting, and that's very kind of you as well. I'm not sure about that whole wisdom business, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, it's absolutely right. So I, I've got a real passion for people to come to know God in a greater way, in a deeper way, but through his word. Mm. Um, and I think that's one of the things that is really quite hard to get into to start with. You know, it's quite hard to engage with. The, the Bible, as we know, is, is an ancient book. It, even the newest parts are 2,000 years old plus. And it's also a big book, and there's lots of it. You know, it's, it's, it's quite dense. And so one of the challenges with it is how do I get into it first off? And I think that's one of the things I wanted to help with is, okay, how do we just start unpacking this? How do we start working at this and, uh, and getting something from, uh, I guess, that engagement with God's word when you read it, getting something back, letting that be living for you rather than just oh, yeah, something I know I have to do, but hey, it's a bit of drudgery. It's, it's, it's quite hard work. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Steve, let's hear a little bit about you. Uh, obviously, people can't see us right now. They'll be listening on a podcast. Uh, so let's give a little bit of a picture of who Steve Brind is. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. I don't know about uh, height and hair color. We'll, we'll leave those alone. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I, I'm uh, in my late 40s, I guess, is, is probably about fair enough. I'm a product manager. Uh, no one knows what that means, and frankly, that doesn't matter. But uh, <laughs> the point is that I'm not a professional Christian. This is not what I do for a, a living. Nevertheless, just really passionate about bringing what God has given to me mm. and bringing that uh, to God's people. And actually, it's, it can be a real benefit to to not be a professional Christian in that yeah, way absolutely. because, hey, we're living in a world now in the, in the same kind of environment as many as you, you are um, in work every mm. day, uh, doing that whole nine to five thing or eight to six, whatever it might be for you. And having to navigate faith through all of that, having to navigate a relationship with God through all of that, where, frankly, probably like many people out there, I don't have the time to spend sort of three hours on my knees before work starts. That's, yes. that's not yeah, the way it is. And so, yeah, it is really quite interesting to be in that space of knowing what the listenership is, is a bit like, I guess, and understanding that that's mm -hmm. where you're coming from as well. And at the same time saying, okay, then God, how can we devote some time to you, some energy to you, some some direction towards you and your word and your, and your thoughts. Yeah, amen. That's so good. And I guess what's beautiful for me, uh, revealing a bit about me, I'm exactly half Steve's age. Uh, he's, he's probably not too, much <laughs> too happy about, <laughs> <laughs> about me revealing that. Um, but I see in uh, Steve and Pete, and I'm sure we'll have a few guests as well, uh, just a life of devotion uh, to the word of God and, and just being ministered to by the spirit of God in a working world in which probably well over 99% of Christians will be people who work 
uh, in normal jobs, who have normal lives, who uh, get married and have kids. And so actually just a space just to devote hours on end uh, is not as accessible uh, as if kind of you're a professional Christian, as you said. Um, and so it's a real benefit actually to have guys like you and, and Pete alongside uh, this teaching us because I guess I, in that regards, am the target audience. Um, I listen to podcasts on the way to work and, and that the way I engage with the word is, is through that and uh, obviously from quiet time in the morning, but not hours on end. Uh, and so this is really created to be a useful, uh, digestible kind of content. Uh, it's to make the word of God accessible uh, and to uh, kind of bring, bring a freedom to people uh, in knowing that the word of God can be accessible. Uh, and this podcast runs side by side and in connection with actually a YouTube series that uh, has come from those Monday nights. Uh, so would you like to explain a little bit about what's going to happen on there? Yeah, absolutely. So on the, the podcasts, uh, it, we're going to obviously sort of talk through the applications, but on the videos, the YouTube series, looking to deep, uh, dig deeper into uh, some of the more difficult sections of the Bible, I guess. Uh, and why would we do that? Well, precisely because they are more difficult, you know, a and you need some ways to get into it, to understand it, to start to grasp it. We, we know that when we started to learn uh, science in school, for example, some of you guys will, will, will be scientists, and, and you didn't start at degree-level science. You began um, with, with something that was a bit sort of digestible and then worked your way up through GCSE, through A-level and so on, uh, up to levels where uh, you could understand it and grasp it and were really capable. And effectively, it's quite hard to begin if you begin at degree level. So what we want to do is to take some of those more difficult areas of the Bible, say, okay, let's break that down. How do we understand that? How do we grasp that? How do we make that relevant for us? And so I've started with the book of Isaiah. Mm. Uh, why might I choose Isaiah? Well, for start off, it's 66 chapters long, so it's long, it's big, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, and that's hard to get into. So I thought, let's, let's help people to get into this. What's it about? Also, it's ancient, um, it's about seven, 800 BC, so a long time ago, and feels quite distant from us, but the themes are so relevant. And as we start to dig into that a little bit and start to unpack it a bit, the themes are so relevant for us. And it's so majestic. It's so fantastic. Mm. And I felt like I just couldn't keep it in. I thought this would be a great one to begin with. Amen, amen. Um, yeah, so that's, that's what the YouTube is going to look and feel like. Uh, that'll be really, we're targeting people spending time uh, with notebook and pen or iPad now. Um, just digesting that information and being able to see those themes for themselves and see the way that you walk that out. Um, and so, yeah, the, the YouTube is really targeted at people kind of uh, spending just that 20 minutes uh, in front of kind of the screen, but also investing in what's being said and engaging and learning. Um, and so that's how that kind of uh, vibe will be. And so the way it interlinks then, um, kind of as we've already said, is that the podcast is really then there to make it applicable uh, to our lives, to see those themes. And we're going to follow video by video. Uh, so say we've got Isaiah 1 or digging into, uh, digging into Isaiah uh, episode one uh, on the YouTube, we're going to then see the key themes from those uh, and make the content accessible and digestible and uh, just easy to listen to, I guess, through a conversation uh, to not only reinforce those ideals, but also then to make it applicable uh, in normal life. Uh, and so that's where the podcast then really links in. Yeah, absolutely right. And, you know, we can learn lots of things. They can go into our heads and that's great. And actually that knowledge is really important. But unless it affects our lives, I mean, mm. we say it's, it's not done anything, has it? You know, it's got to yeah, change yeah, us on yeah, the inside. Sure. And, and that's what God wants to do for us. He wants to do that, that, that work of changing our hearts. And we, we hope and we pray that these podcast sessions will be times of great application, of great uh, change of heart, of great movement of God's spirit within us. Amazing. Um, so that's it for this kind of like this pilot one. Uh, me and Steve from, I guess, different walks of life, maybe, as we'd say. Um, but very much uh, pursuing the same God, uh, in love with God, in love with his word, in love with what uh, the spirit is doing through his word, uh, through generations, um, and still absolutely believe that the word of God is so vital uh, to the human soul, uh, to revitalize, to engage, to equip, and to reveal Jesus to us um, in order to respond to him. Uh, so please watch the YouTube videos, uh, engage with it, comment, ask questions. It's we want this to be catered around you. Uh, this is all about the listener being able to uh, engage, equip, and just develop in their understanding of what God is saying through his word. Um, so thank you very much and take a listen.